Hello, my friends. Welcome to a discussion of two-way ANOVA. And this little video simply provides an introduction to show you what a two-way ANOVA is and will be followed by several other videos to explain what you're doing and how you conduct it and how you interpret it. I love this little saying in the beginning that a man drowned crossing a stream with an average depth of six inches. Those outliers will get you every time. The uh, one, one real question is, what is a two-way ANOVA? What is it anyway? We've done a one-way ANOVA. What's a two-way ANOVA? Well, let's do this first in words, and then we will look at pictures. The simple ANOVA, ANOVA has one independent variable and one dependent variable. Uh, we did those in previous videos. This is your first step, though, with the two-way ANOVA into the realm of multivariate statistics. In other words, the two-way ANOVA has two independent variables and one dependent variable. Before we continue much further with this, it, it would behoove us just to take a moment and talk about multivariate statistics. How many things do you know in life that are only contingent upon one variable? Not very many. Most things are contingent upon many independent variables, and the two-way ANOVA is the first step in looking at how you might examine a dependent variable which is driven by two independent variables. And I want you to consider the following illustrations. You probably remember this uh, simple ANOVA video from our initial discussions of ANOVA. Uh, I have the videos out there entitled ANOVA and, of course, the little iTunes book entitled T-Test and ANOVA. Now, in this one, what we have is we have uh, groupings, group one, group two, or group three. You will recall that if you only have two groupings with one independent va uh, dependent value, then it's a t-test. When you can do three or more groupings, two or three or more, with, a, with an ANOVA, and you have a grouping variable, and then you have a dependent variable. As I, as I said, we might call these the independent variables down here, and then we might call this the dependent variable. Now, look at that again and think about it. Here are the independent variables, and the independent variable is driving the dependent variable and we will analyze to see if there are differences across the independent groupings. Now, the independent variables are required to be categorical. Uh, these are generally nominal data. They might be such things as ethnicity. Uh, they might be groupings such as uh, the, the, the type of two-year institution it is, whether it's public, proprietary, or private. So the, the independent variables are categorical. The dependent variables are continuous. In other words, that means that they're at least uh, interval data, if not ratio data. Now, here is the picture of a two-way ANOVA. I want you to notice the difference in this. First of all, you have two independent variables. You have independent variable 1, and you have independent variable 2. And these might be groupings. You might have ethnicity and then you might have a classification of, of types of community colleges. Uh, you might have all sorts of things that group across there. But your first variable is categorical, your second variable is categorical, and they are determining a dependent value that you're, you're looking at. And of course, as I just said, the independent variables are categorical and the dependent variables are continuous. Now, let me sum this up. What, what is a two-way ANOVA? Let's sum it up again. In other words, the two-way ANOVA has two independent variables and one dependent variable. The two-way ANOVA differs from the simple ANOVA. The simple ANOVA has only one independent variable and one dependent variable, while the two-way ANOVA has two independent variables and one dependent variable. The purpose of the two-way ANOVA is to examine for interaction between the two independent variables on the dependent variable. Now, that's pretty profound. You listen to that again. The purpose of the two-way ANOVA is to examine for interaction between the two independent variables on the dependent variable. Let me run this back just a minute and let you look at this. You see the independent variables here? And you're looking at their interaction on the dependent variable. Uh, one and two, which one, I mean, how do they interact? And, and how do they interact on the dependent variable? That's what you're doing in a two-way ANOVA. And of course, again, the independent variables are categorical. The dependent variable is continuous. Now, in other words, the two-way ANOVA has two independent variables and one dependent variable. 
Again, the statement, the purpose of the two-way ANOVA is to examine for interaction between the two independent variables on the dependent variable. And the independent variables are often called factors. Uh, the two-way ANOVA is often called a factorial ANOVA. Now, that's pretty interesting. Um, there's a whole branch of research called canonical, which, which looks at a lot of different factors and how they interact on a, on a uh, dependent variable. You have uh, advanced multivariate analysis, but this is just the introductory step in the multivariate statistics. Multivariate statistics being where you have two or more independent variables acting on a dependent variable. Well, I, I want to thank you again very much for your support. I appreciate your patronage. As always, may the odds be ever in your favor, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, unless you and I are in the same event, and then it's every man for himself. Have a great day.